All right, all right, all righty, all right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you day number 1266. Hope you're all enjoying your day out there. If this is your first time here, welcome. Let me know in the comments or in the chat right over here or down there and tell me. Uh, or not tell me, but leave a comment saying hashtag first timer. But if you've been here before, leave a comment saying hashtag before. That is correct. All right. And if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. Tap the bell to the right of the red subscribe button and set it to all so you don't miss any future updates. And let's get 200 likes on this video down below, everybody. And here we go. So this is just a follow-up again to more of the, the stuff with the, the DoorDash pay model, cherry picking thing. Um, it comes from Cheryl. Uh, everyone say, thank you, Cheryl. So she says the following. Hey, Pete, I'm writing regarding the new setup that is supposed to curb the cherry picking of the best orders. Does DoorDash not realize they're setting themselves up for failure? While dashers will not be able to cherry pick based on tips, they will now be selecting the orders with the shortest distance, especially if the pay base pay is the same. This is going to result in dashers declining farther drives as the benefit of that drive, the tip, will not be evident. Farther distant orders are going to be left on the lineup which impacts customer service and on-time delivery and damages the reputation of DoorDash. I sincerely hope that this has been taken into consideration. While I am not a cherry picker in my own right, I will weigh the benefits of a longer drive heavily as the compensation must match the wear and tear on my vehicle. Stay safe. Thank you for reading. Cheryl. If you guys ever want to send me an email just, just like this or have a question, Send it to paid to drive stories at gmail.com and uh, maybe it'll be in a video. So my thoughts on this particular, you know, email on, on what Cheryl was saying here. I do think this is going to hurt DoorDash quite a bit and it's going to hurt the restaurants just as much because I'll tell you right now, if Dashers can't see what they are taking, they're gonna stop, you know, taking orders in general, a lot of them, and, and may move to different platforms. And then the restaurants that are partnered with DoorDash or unpartnered with DoorDash are going to get screwed. That's just one thing. Another thing, hey, I'm sorry, the dog was doing something. Um, another thing is that overall, DoorDash, they, they claim they have the driver's best interest, you know, in mind, that they want to help the driver so much. But then if they want to help the driver, why hide information from the driver? Sounds kind of shady to me. Okay, we know why they're doing this because they don't want they don't want the cherry picking to go on. And speaking of which, ever since I've been making videos about these changes, some drivers have come across and said, "Hey Pete, I've never been able to see the full payout in general." And this raises a question for everybody. I want everyone right now in the chat over here or down there, or in the comments. Tell me right now, have you ever been able to see the full payout, the full payout when the screen, when the offer screen comes up on DoorDash, do you, have you been able to see the full payout? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments or in the chat. And let me know if you're able to see it now. Because although this has not been implemented like, you know, full time here, with the whole thing, you know, with them not being able to, with drivers not being able to see things. Remember, it only happened for like an hour or two. And then a lot of people said, well, it went back to normal. It went back to normal after an hour. It went back to normal after two hours. It went back to normal after about 45 minutes or so. So what I want to know is, have you been, infe uh, uh, not infected, affected from this? Okay. Because I have a major problem with this, with this whole thing. All right. And like I said, what it's going to do is it's going to force drivers to say, you know what the hell with DoorDash, I'm just going to go and work on Grubhub and Uber Eats, at least, you know, if those are offered in your particular market. So at the end of the day, 
What do I think about this? I think it's a big mistake. So what do you think? Do you think that them hiding the tips and stuff like that, saying you're going to get $3 plus 100% of the tips, do you think that this hurts the cherry picking or do you think it helps it? Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Because I'll tell you right now, DoorDash has made some stupid mistakes before in the past. And I got to say, this is right there up there, you know, with, with, uh, with those big mistakes. And I, I just feel like this is just going to cause more issues, more problems for everybody. And like I said, especially restaurants are going to suffer because I've already been hearing drivers say, well, if I can't see the tip, then I'm just going to reject orders from those restaurants that I know have crappy payouts, which could be a lot of fast food restaurants. So those are going to get affected quite a bit. So let me know your thoughts down below, everybody. Really, really curious to hear what everyone has to say. So I do want to take this time to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash paid to drive. There will be a link in the description down below or in the pinned top comment. A dollar or more every month goes a really long way. So sign up if you'd like to support the channel and you will get shout outs in every single new video that I post. So with that being said, when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got Brian Pomeroy, Brian Richardson, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Serena Siddiqui, Tulsa Todd, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, T. Breeze, Jenny Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G., Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. Really, really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for giving a little something every month. Really appreciate it. And of course, make sure to download the Get Upside Gas app. I know you're procrastinating. I know you haven't downloaded it yet. You know who I'm talking to. Link's also in the description down below. All you have to do is download the app for free, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app on your smartphone, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description. Make sure to download it, and you'll be good to go. Simple as that. And of course, you like this shirt with all the all rights on it. This and more can be found at paytodrivestore.com. That link is also down below. Get yourself something nice, a t-shirt, a hoodie, something. Paytodrivestore.com. Everything is on sale. All right. So that brings us to the end of the video. So all you have to do to close us out, to, to play us out. I, there's no words there. Anybody know that reference? Put it down below. Leave a comment right now saying end 630, end 630, and uh, subscribe with all notifications on. I'll give you a second to do that. Hit that like button, and until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and I'll see you all next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your day, and tell me, what are you doing today? Are you working or are you just relaxing? Tell me down below. Peace.